Hello, Vinyl Community, and anyone else watching this. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I'm making this two nights before um, New Year's Day. Um, not sure when I'll get it up. Hopefully before the New Year. Um, I hope everybody's doing well, and um, I hope everybody has a great year, and I hope you all had a great Christmas and got lots of records. If you've seen my videos previously, you know that I didn't get any. <laughs> I never do. Um, not for Christmas anyway, but that comes in just a second. I am doing, this is a, going to be a recent finds video. Um, I'm going to be showing some 45s, one 10 inch, and a few LPs, along with some very unexpected VCLT, and this is where I did get a Christmas gift, and I'm just, um, I'm, I'm over the moon, and I have not opened it yet. I, I started to, and then I looked and seen who it was from, and I'm like, oh my god, no, I have to open this on camera and make a video, and, uh, so I've been waiting all day till I have the time to do this. So, um, this is a VCLT video, and it is VCLT from my old friend from Israel, Mr. Ellie. Um, Ellie doesn't make very many videos anymore, and, um, he still watches, apparently, still comments. Um, he's busy like the rest of us, and I completely understand that, and... I was blown away um, because I had no idea this is coming. Um, he did win my first ever contest. Was one of the winners, and that's how he got my address. So I was completely. He didn't ask me for my address or anything. So I was completely blown away by this. So and it's a really heavy package. I don't even want to know what it must have cost to send this, and I'm not gonna look. Um, here's the box. Um, I think up here is probably what it costs, so I'm not even going to, not going to show the back, as his address is on the back, but this is the package, it's heavy, came all the way from Israel, and I am just blown away that I got VCLT from Mr. Ellie. So I'm going to open it up, see what's in here, I have literally zero idea, um, but, um, Seeing Mr. Ali's record collection, I just can't imagine. It's going to be fantastic. Um, and if you guys don't know who he is, check out his videos. Um, there's still a bunch of them up, I believe. Um, it's just Mr. E-L-I. Um, used to pronounce it Eli, but I'm pretty sure Ellie is the proper pronunciation. I just cut this part. And... Uh, I'll open it up right now and see what is in here. Um, <laughs> we start off with Ray Conniff and his orchestra and chorus. You make me feel so young. And um, let's see where this is made. I'm guessing this is possibly an Israeli copy. Yep, this is an Israeli copy. I have no records from Israel, so this is <laughs> completely awesome. It's on the, uh, I call it the Import Columbia label, CBS actually, records. Um, <laughs> so, very cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm psyched already. I got to put them down there for a second because, um, Galaxy of Hits, <laughs> with the heartbeats, Echo, I'm not even going to try to pronounce, uh, Cyril DeVille, Barbara Moore, it's in sort of a paper-ish sleeve. I'm guessing this is definitely Israeli as well. So cool. I love this kind of stuff. This is awesome. Check this. This is dark, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Check that label out. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> that is just so cool. And, uh... 
Dionne Warwick, I'll Never Fall in Love Again on Scepter Records. Again, I'm guessing this is an Israeli copy. No, this is a German copy of this record. Man, I just love foreign records. Oh, this is awesome. It's on Scepter, let's see if the foreign... Uh, looks slightly different than uh, the Scepter I'm used to. Very, very cool. Very cool. Raindrops be falling on my head is on this. Something. Um... <laughs> you can see what's on it. I don't have to read them. Wow. I just, this is so, so cool. There's more. Old and Golden Goodies. Sam Cooke, Neil Sedaka, Dave Baby Cortez, K Star, Floyd Kramer, Brooke Benton, the Isley Brothers. Mickey and Sylvia. <laughs> There's your track list. I haven't even looked at it yet, but you guys can look at it. Um, this is on RCA Victor. Made in Israel. Yes! This is so cool. Oh. Very cool RCA Victor label there. This is so so, so cool. I love this cover. <laughs> I, I just love that. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. And uh, a couple more. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. The Stranglers. Let Me Down Easy. It's 12 inch. Achilles Heel. Plaza de Victories. It's an instrumental very, very cool. From, um, I forget what this album's called. I actually have the album Oral. Something that is the album that it's from. And, uh, trying to see where this is pressed. It's so dark in here. I can't see that. It's too dark in here for me to see it. Epic. Uh, I honestly can't tell right now where this is pressed. Definitely Germany, Israel, somewhere. Not <laughs> America. Very, very cool. And, oh, the import copy of this. I actually have this album, but an import is always, always welcome. Oral Sculpture is the name of the album. Awesome. And, uh, again, it's too dark for me in here to see where it's pressed. Let's see if I can see any of this. This is really light, at least. It might be German, because it's got the stem on it. Well, it's not a white epic label. I don't think it's a promo or anything, but it's on a very different white epic label. Very, very cool. I'm, wow. I, ah, thank you so much, Ellie. Oh my gosh. I'm just, wow. This is so cool. I always love this cover. This is a great cover. Uh, and then, of course, you've got everybody's ears on the back. Very, very, very cool. So, get rid of this. Thank you so much. Again, um, check out Mr. Ali's channel. Again, he doesn't hasn't done much lately, but his Beatle collection is just out of this world. And um, a lot of his other records are, too. Just a wealth of videos and information. And again... Thank you so much. I'm just so blown away by this. Anyway, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got to get on to some um, 45s now. Um, I think I said in my last, one of my last videos that I've been on a little bit of a Dave Edmonds kick, and it's more than a little bit. 
I am re-falling in love with the guy. But before we get to him, so 145, really quick, the Dolmans, Tear Me Apart, covering um, Susie Quattro. And on the B side, covering um, Sylvain Sylvain with um, Teenage News. Um, very cool band. They're from Sweden. And um, they have a few EPs out. They might have an album out, but very little vinyl. In fact, this is the only vinyl I've ever seen by them. But very cool garage pop band, I would call them. Um, very, very cool. So pick that up and very, very happy about that. Got that at Get Hip. That's the only place I've ever seen that. Okay, now Dave Edmonds. I found this seller in England that would ship a 45 for $3 and any additional 45s for around 47 cents. So I bought a whole bunch of import Dave Edmonds 45s. The guy had, I bought most of what he had. I didn't buy all. I just been in Dave Edmonds mood. And I love a, a great import 45. It, love an import record. Love an import anything. So um, anyway, the first two aren't imports though. This I bought because I'd never seen it. I've never seen this label. Beach Bop Records. Bad is Bad by Dave Edmonds. Backed with a knife and fork by Rock Pile. It looks like a bootleg, but I've played it and it sounds fantastic. And um, just a very cool Dave Edmonds single to pick up. And um, this is the other non British one. The rest are all British from the same guy. Trouble Boys, white label promo in uh, mono. And the stereo on Swan Song. Very happy with that. I've actually just put the mono version on a podcast along with some of these other ones. It'll be aired in late January, early February. And um, very, very cool. These are all British imports to us now. Dave Edmonds with the Stray Cats. The race is on. That's on Swan Song. I'll show the labels if they're different. But, um,. This is when he was working with those guys. Very, very cool. Um, this is Deborah, one of my favorite songs by him. Just a fan. It sounds amazing on 45. Just really cool. B side is What Looks Best on You. Crawling from the Rockage. I used to have a British import of this a long time ago, and it was warped. So very happy to get a new one. Played it, sounds great. Singing the blues. Great, great Dave Edmonds song. Boys Talk is the B-side. <laughs> song he wrote, which is pretty weird for Dave Edmonds. He doesn't write very many. And speaking of Boys Talk, Girls Talk, of course Elvis Costello wrote that one. Um, Bad is Bad is the B-side of that as well. Not sure what the A side of this is. Hang on. It's in on the B side. Um, A1 on the jukebox. And uh, there's the B side. Nice swan song sleeve, even though it's not in the picture sleeve. Early stuff here, early ish anyway. Born to Be With You, Pickaxe Rag on uh, RCA Records. Um, recorded at Rockfield, definitely that one. Um, me and the Boys, Queen of Hearts Live. Of course, Me and the Boys, an NRBQ song that he may have produced that album. Um, this one's on Arista. From Small Things, Big Things Come, Big Things One Day Come, song written by Bruce Springsteen. Again, on Arista this time. Warmed Over Kisses, Left Over Love, again on Arista. This one's kind of cool. Um, it's slipping away on clear vinyl. Back with Don't Call Me Tonight. Arista. Something About You Baby, Dave Edmonds, on Arista again. And one more 45, High School Nights from Porky's Revenge. This one on CBS Records. So again, getting into Dave Edmonds lately. And um, 
Why not? Fantastic guitar player. Again, the album he came out a couple years ago is just fantastic. Fell in love with it. Alright, we've got a few more to go here. Um, 10 inch, the sneakers. Um, early stuff by Chris Stamey is in this band. And uh, Mitch Easter is helping out as well. And um, this is pre-DB stuff. And then they got back together, but I don't think Chris Damey was with them when, when they did the Beatles covers and the Knickerbockers covers, but I'm not sure. Um, it's on clear vinyl. On uh, Carnivorous number one records. <laughs> um, this was a record store day release, by the way. There is the track listing for anybody interested. And uh, you can read what it says about them on the back if you'd like. I already reviewed this, but I haven't shown it in the regular video. And in case anybody didn't see the review, got blown lonesome by the Rolling Stones. I love this record. This is worth picking up. This copy is pressed in the Netherlands. I still don't think it's out in the States yet, as far as not being an import. Here's your set list. A lot of people reviewed this, including me. I said it was maybe their best album since Exile, and I'm sticking with that. I really like this a lot. Fantastic blues. Um, been watching a few Garner videos, and uh, he did a Rockabilly one not too long ago, and that inspired me to pick up a couple of comps. Um, Buffalo Bop Volume 1, The Bop That Never Stopped. Um, Now so there's what's on this. Pretty good. In fact, these were once considered sort of the definitive rockabilly compilations. There's a bunch of them. So I wouldn't have gone on vinyl. Chess rockabillies just go wild over rock and roll. Um, bunch of rockabilly stuff on chess, including Suzy Q by Dale Hawkins. And uh, what else was, um, something else was really good on here. Cool Off Baby Billy Barracks is really good. Starday Dixie Rockabilly. Um, bought this because it has a Benny Joy track on it. And uh, what did I really like on here? Uh, Don't Big Shot Me by Link Davis. It's really good. Go for anybody interested in that. And um, the Collins Kids, introducing Larry and Lori. I always wanted, I have a few tracks on a couple of compilations. Never had a collection before. This is really good. Epic Records put this out. And um, these, these two kids were amazing. I mean, Larry Collins is like this 14-year-old guitar virtuoso. His sister was like this 16-year-old with a voice like almost matching Wanda Jackson's just really really good rock and rockabilly just good good stuff and um, the Betty Joy story volume 2 57 to 61 roll into the jukebox rock um, which is a great song by the way and I've only listened to a little of this and I only picked this one up just to see what I thought of him and um, so I'm back it's a day later <laughs> it's now uh, New Year's Eve my battery died on my camera and since I did VCLT I couldn't just reshoot the video so I've charged my battery it's the next day and uh, <laughs> we'll continue I believe I was showing the back cover of this album when my camera died probably showing you the track listing I don't remember but it's uh the Benny Joy story 57 to 61 volume 2 on Norton I was just about through that I think um this was just set me free as either packing or just a bonus um the guy didn't say um I ordered the next album I'm going to show you and they threw this in. It's 12 big hits. Um, it's on a Columbia Records. It's got some good stuff on it. And the record's not bad. So I think you threw it in. 
got north to Alaska. Maybe sitting boogie by Bug, Buzz Clifford. I actually want to hear that. It's got Jeremy Irons' harmonic hats on it. Marty Robbins, Mitch Miller, um, Aretha Franklin. Um, so interesting, cool album. I, I think it might even be a uh, yeah. It's a the six eye. Records in very nice shape. And uh, for free, I'll take it. Um, it even had this nice white sleeve in it. New sleeve. So I think he just threw it in. But uh, anyway, very happy to have it for free. Um, and this is the album that it came in. Dave Edmonds. I said I've been on a Dave Edmonds kit. Closer to the Flame. His last album that came out on vinyl, his second to last album before his new one a couple of years ago um, that I've been raving about. Um, this is a really good album. Um, and um, he finally got out of that 80s synthesizer thing he was doing and just made a rock and roll album again. And they even had a minor hit with the title cut, Closer to the Flame. I think um, King of Love might have been released as a single as well. Uh, it's on Capitol Records, and um, came out in 89 or 90, um, so, yeah, 89, so, you know, vinyl was starting to get a little scarce by then, so, really happy to have this. Um, Plugged was his last album, never came out on vinyl, and the company went under just after it came out, so, fairly rare, even on a CD, and a lot of that is actually re-recorded on the uh, latest album, again, that Again, I've been raving about In fact, I reviewed it uh, a couple of videos ago if you want to check that out. Um, now I've got a couple more here. Some comps. Um, garage comps. Pebbles, volume 28. There are just so many of these. This one is uh, European. The continent lashes back. But I love garage and pebbles and especially European pebbles. Stuff we don't get to hear that much. There's a the track listing there. And, um, just, um, like, like Randy, Deadwax 66 I love comps. So, uh, very happy to have that. And, uh, Lowe's in the mid-60s on Numero, volume 54. Talk about a huge collection. <laughs> Cosmic City, part two. I mainly picked this up because I got it, like, pretty cheap. There's your track listing. And, um, I don't think I have any of the lows of the 60s, I'm not sure, but when I can find cheap garage comps, I'll pick them up every time. I'm not going to try to get all 54 of these. But there's probably more than that. Um, last but not least, Electric Sugar Cube Flashbacks, Volume 4. How can you go wrong with Electric Sugar Cube Flashbacks? Um, this ought to be just some really cool site kind of stuff. Um, there's articles all over it. There's a picture of Brian Wilson there on the back. With, um, I'm not sure who else that is. But uh, there's your track listing. And uh, AIP put this out. The same people that put out um, yeah, the Pebbles. So very cool, looking forward to that, haven't heard it yet, but uh, there you go. Anyway, wanted to come back and properly finish this video, um, <laughs> and wish everybody a happy new year, and um, put a new podcast up today, it's my fourth Unbound, where um, I don't play vinyl once a year, I play stuff from the digital realm. And when I can, I also play tracks by um, online friends as well as real friends and all of that kind of stuff. Well, I haven't mentioned in a while. It's the Snap, Crackle, and Pop Vinyl Hour. I never mention the name of the podcast. But anyway, in this one that I put up today, um, it's a band called Toner, who a lot of you know... Um, Vinyl on video, Travis is in that band, and um, I asked him if I could play a track. Um, I got to get right from their website, Tone of the Band, on YouTube. Check them out. 
There's my plug for you, Travis. And check out my podcast, and Travis is on it. Um, I can't remember who else I've played, if anybody um, that I know. But anyway, check that out, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. Again, Happy New Year. Be safe. I don't even know if this will get up tonight or <laughs> in the morning when the New Year's New Year's Eve's all over with. I don't know. But anyway, uh, again, Happy New Year. Hope you uh, have great years. And um, all my new subscribers, thank you. All my old subscribers, thank you. All my commenters, thank you. And uh, that's it. Take care, everybody, and have a great year. Bye.